Now we're going to talk about the use of electrode locations and uh, where to place electrodes. The clinician will be specifying where the electrodes should go uh, for the proper biofeedback training. And we generally use a system which is called the International 1020 system. It's named because it uses 10 and 20 percent measurements across the head in order to locate specific electrodes. The clinician will usually be providing the sensor names according to this convention. Let's review them. From a top view of the head, an idealized view, we have a ring here which defines sort of a hat band that goes right around the top of the ears and around the forehead and the back of the head. And then there's areas in the middle which are defined, which are often used. The most commonly known spot is CZ, which is directly on top of the head. To the right of it, approximately halfway to the ear, is C4. To the left of it, in the corresponding location, is C3. Now if you move down just to the top of the ear, uh, on the head but near the top of the ear, you're at T4, which is the temporal lobe, and T3 on the left. Similarly, F3 and F4 are frontal positions. P3 and P4 are parietal positions in the rear. FP1 and FP2 are on the forehead. F7 and 8 are farther out on the sides of the head. We also have T5 and T6 behind the ears. And O1 and O2, which are back in the visual cortical area. Incidentally, there is a change coming in the international uh, names. T3 and T4 will be changed to T7 and T8, and T5, T6 will be changed to P7 and P8. So we can watch for that change coming in the future. Moving down to the detailed view, what you see is that these electrode locations are actually associated with regions of the brain, which is why we pick the locations appropriately. C being C3, CZ, and C4, these are centrally located and lie over the sensory motor strip of the brain. These are among the most common areas for EEG training. The F locations, F7, F3, FZ, F4, and F8, lie over the frontal lobe. FP1 and FP2 are in the prefrontal areas. The connection is made directly on the forehead. T3 and T4, which will be T7 and T8, are temporal lobe. And T5 and T6, which will be called P7 and P8, were believed to be in the rear of the temporal lobe, but now are believed to do more of sampling the parietal lobe, as do P3 and P4 and PZ. Z, of course, is the central areas. And then finally we have O1 and 2, O2 on the rear of the head. Looking overall, we see that you can display these on the top view or on a side view. And the side view here shows the left side of the head. So we see that the so-called hat band gives us FP1 and F7 and T3, which will be T7, and T5, which will be P7, and then O1. And then approximately halfway up, we have F3, C3, and P3. And similarly on the right side. Note that all the electrodes on the left side are odd numbers, and everything on the right side is even numbers. So this basically describes the 1020 placement system which your clinician will be using with you. To further illustrate, we can use this wig maker's dummy which has been fitted with a commercial electrode cap. This cap is designed to automatically find the correct locations. and We've marked some of them for you. For example, if this cap is simply pulled on snug, the electrodes find their position, and C3 is found directly on top of the head. I'm sorry, CZ is found directly on top of the head. C3 is on the left side, and C4 is on the right side. Again, these are the most common positions you'll be using. F3, FZ, and F4 are in the front. T3 and T4 are above the ears. We have P3 and P4, T5 and T6, which will be P7 and P8 in the future and O1 and O2. If you don't have an electrode cap, it's also possible to get a placement cap, which is a low-cost elastic device which allows you to find the locations quickly and reasonably accurately. 
Once you push it into shape and pull these pins as recommended by the vendor, what you'll see is that these various electrode locations, again, are easily found. C3, CZ, C4, and so on. Finally, for training and demonstration, you'll see what we have is a head where we've simply marked these locations directly. This is probably the easiest way to see the placement. C3, C4, the temporals, T3, T4, and so on.